catch it up for you, bitch! All right, gamers, let's talk about the history of Keemstar. Halo 3 was the shit. Playing Halo 3, Xbox Live, and me being a little shit kid. That's when I was watching Keemstar the most. Fuck this. I'm on blog TV with my... This is when he had the most respect. This is when he peaked. This is when he made the best content. He was the funniest then. Now, admittedly, it was him getting drunk. <laughs> but it was hilarious. I feel like I'm a fucking gorilla with a fucking baseball bat fighting a retard with a spoon. Hope you guys like my little drawing of, of him saying Alex. Alex is doing this shit. You f this is Alex, by the way. In his defense. Now, all of this happened in his late 20s. In his late 20s. It's not like, oh, you caught me. I want them dead. Kid, I want them dead. I want them dead. I want to murder them. Yes, I said it. Because I was fucking furious. Guys, I was furious! Boo the context! I've been laughing the last hour that your mom died of cancer. This is how Keemstar functions. He does everything in his power to attract the worst in trolls. You're white, I run this world. You're black, you're my slave. And then immediately rationalizes, I'm the victim. This is not my fault, I'm a fucking saint. Like, subscribe, comment, draw my alert nation, five, five million. million. <laughs> hey bro, don't. This is exactly what I believe. He was in a clan called FAG. An abbreviation for fag, but you know, he'll never say that. Called FAG. Not fag, FAG. He was the original clown. Nobody, nobody was more of a clown than fucking Keemstar. He made a fuck ton of YouTube accounts and they all got terminated. They he got banned after banned after banned on Xbox. He would lose gamertag after gamertag. Xbox after Xbox. Get Around that time, Keemstar started dwindling a little bit. He wanted some YouTube fame. He had no content. He was dying out. And that's when drama alert. I dubs made his content cop leafing all that shit was going on and that just made Keemstar bigger and bigger and bigger He had no friends the second people could turn on him They did but this cockroach would survive every fucking time because people wanted to see the entertainment He centralized the drama so no matter how big you are if you wanted to change the public opinion drama alert was the way What's wrong with you asshole? And that's how he holds influence. He has no respect nothing and that's what keeps him comfy, that keeps him happy. But the issue is, a sociopath is running the show. And we're letting him. We're letting a cockroach that survived multiple nuclear bombs. It's not news, it's a fucking game to this guy. He thinks he's playing influencer battleship and it's fucking working. He holds a cloud over a ton of influencers. Teamstar is paper pretending to be a brick wall. In the real world, there are pieces of shit at the top. Keemstar's not at the top, but he's in our fucking bedroom. Get him the fuck out of here! 90% of influencers, the people you watch, are worth watching. Keemstar is not. He's not worth watching. He's not worth agreeing with. He's worth the fucking door. Scarce was the only competition, and without Scarce, he stays. Hey, what's up, guys? Blatant sociopath. Such a blatant manipulator. It's only a matter of time before he just gets fucking shitstormed again and again and again. And one of them will kill him. I am the greatest entertainer on this fucking platform, period. And the only way to prove me wrong is to not watch my content, and we know you're gonna be fucking watching. Do you think every single view that comes to your channel, every impression on Twitter, is some little kid who takes in your bullshit and regurgitates it? There are people like me who see through your bullshit, who have known and been aware of you all the way, years back and know your fuckery and how you function and how you work. You don't care about the news. There's a reason why you block hundreds of people a day. It's because your dumbass brain does not compute like everybody else's. You've gotten way too comfortable. You're letting your whole show and those holes are gonna get fucked. Your backup plan is the fact you've already made enough money for the rest of your fucking life. Nobody gives a shit where you go. YouTube is unique, where people like you can get thrown the fuck out the door. Nobody can come in and fuck shit up without ever getting any shit. Congrats to you for being the fucking strongest cockroach in internet fucking history. Why am I still getting hate? Why? I have debunked all this shit. Why am I still getting hate? Do you care about the fucking truth? Or do you care about just hating on someone? I do not deserve this hate. 
Starting tomorrow, I'm returning back to Drumler and I'm doing the fucking news. News? More like a noose. Let's talk about my first impression with Keemstar. I've only had one interaction with him online. He thinks he's too good for somebody like me. I don't have enough clout, you know? Everyone knows I'm a pretty good editor. Yeah, sorry, that's there's a YouTuber called Nuda. Who the fuck is Nuda, you might be asking? Nuda was Drama Alert's old co-host. That was around a year ago from now. Now, Nuda is a fucking weird person. He's one of those really unreliable people that just tend to go and come. Nuda asked me to edit a video for him. I said, sure, I'll even do it for free as long as you let me edit for Drama Alert one day. If one day I needed to get a job in editing, saying I edited for Drama Alert, that would definitely help me. That would help anybody who edited. So I make the video, and it's a really good fucking video. It goes up, great. Nuda disappears. <laughs> What the fuck is wrong with you? Then out of nowhere, months later, he shows up again and he says, Hey, do me a favor and edit me another video. And like a fucking idiot, I did it. What the fuck? Is wrong with man. I was aware that Nuda was going through actual personal troubles and I was well aware of it So it made sense on why he wasn't able to communicate with me and make drama alerts I asked him are you gonna scam me? I would never do that Blah. Well, I'll tell Keem he'll run it as a headline <laughs> Yeah, no, he wouldn't run it as a headline any day of the fucking week You don't give a fuck the news. And then the motherfucker doesn't message me for another few months and then out of nowhere he just messages me Fine <laughs> what the fuck you mean fine? I'm like what the fuck? So how does this relate to Keemstar? Well, I told Keemstar about it since Nuda is his co-host. I asked him about it. The regular response from a grounded person with a healthy ego is to say, oh, that's not good. Let me clear up the air on this issue. But your response is just to block me. Don't waste my time with bullshit, man. Oh, it's, oh, it's bullshit. Your co-host scamming another YouTuber, me. Oh, that's not newsworthy. Logan Paul gives a blowjob is newsworthy or whatever the fuck. A video was uploaded on YouTube titled Girlfriend Gives Logan Paul BJ Exposed Video Not Clickbait. Truth is, it wasn't a good look for you. News channel, news! You would've looked fucking retarded because you're being a douchebag. Your response is to say, don't waste my time with bullshit and block. Logan Paul jerks you around. Logan Paul's literally just fucking using. You put him on your show with no fucking hesitation and he gets free exposure. Logan Paul is smarter than you. All I was doing is inquiring about why I got scanned by your co-host. You could've just cleared up the air, but no, don't waste my time with bullshit. What a douche. Regardless, I'm over it. That was a fucking year ago. From this point forward, it's gonna get more real. When Etika died, that affected me so greatly. I would consider Etika's death like my first ever death in my life. So forgive me in this video. Not everything I say is as sensitive as it should be. Etc. He wasn't just my favorite YouTuber entertainment wise. I wanted to be him. I wanted to meet him I wanted to be just like him. He was an inspiration Etika was like a golden grail of a human being and him being a black person and being the number one streamer That was that was fucking amazing and his death is it's obviously tragic I don't know if I should or shouldn't go into detail about how I feel about his death But I won't because this is a Keemstar video and that topic is deserving of a better video if a video at all. But this is the reason why I wanted to make a Keemstar video. This topic. But the Etika stuff is just putting me off the edge. Out of everything I've said in this video, this is definitely going to be the worst of Keemstar. I'll try and make it straight to the point. And it's so bad just because it is modern day. He is middle aged. He's a grown man making, being disrespectful and overstepping. Keemstar harassed and clowned Etika the most out of anybody else. If you try to convince me that Keem did not know that his massive audience would go and immediately clown Etika for saying the shit that he said. I can't even take you seriously. And just the way that Keemstar deflects and deflects and tries to pivot the narrative to his advantage. You can't erase your sins. You can't erase the dumb shit that you've done. You can take responsibility for it and know your place. But you've just decided your place is right in the fucking middle of the fucking thing. You're pretending like you're buddy buddy. You're running a fundraiser. And yeah, it's great. You're running a fundraiser. Money's awesome. And it's going to mental health. That's fucking great. It's like 20k. But Keemstar, humble yourself, bro. You're sitting up there doing that fundraiser and you're taking all the fucking shine. You're, you're, you're polishing your fucking knob right now. You're making yourself look like the god you are. You make it out to be like you were friends with Etika, like you're a buddy buddy with him. You clown the absolute fuck out of him. Etika fans are tweeting at me saying I shouldn't stream Red Dead at a time like this. He's not my friend. I barely spoke to him. I'm worried, but there's nothing I can do. 
And it's Red Dead 2. Sorry, but I'm streaming no matter what. Yeah, nice one, dude. I'm sure you're a buddy buddies talking in the DM. And you knew he was vulnerable. You knew he wasn't thinking straight. Etika loved everybody. He talked right about everybody. He liked your show. Etika loved that edgy shit. When in fact, Etika liked you a lot more than you liked him. In the interview with Etika that Keemstar put up, Etika shit talk Keemstar. And I don't kill people like you do sometimes. You kill that old man by calling him a Wow, I've never oh, done anything. Get out of here. Get out of here. That's ridiculous. Listen, shut up. We shut up. Just because he said, hey, Keemstar, I like you, man. I like you. Doesn't mean that what Keemstar did is respectable. Record an interview with Etika. He started yelling in rage quit. He mad because I called him out for being weak. Being weak? The dude is literally having a mental break. His brain isn't functioning correctly. What is this? What are these crazy tweets? Turn. This is the return of the Antichrist. Okay, it's the return of the Antichrist. Well, I thought the Antichrist hey. was here the whole time. Keemstar, why are you talking to this guy like a fucking idiot? We've established you're not fucking news. So don't pretend like you're news and acting like you're fucking objective on the spot when it feels good. And when you apply that to somebody who's actually having a mental breakdown on the spot, your show is manipulation. Do you understand this video is going to millions of people? Is there any way to send more harassment to somebody than what Keemstar did in this fucking video alone? Not even including his Twitter. You're literally hearing fantasy right now and you're baiting more and more information from so you can record it and put it on drama why do people respect you for this just by that interview alone you can tell that keemstar gave no fucks about etika there was no way he was going to come on that interview and set anything of value etika was having a mental fucking breakdown but keemstar took advantage of that an adult came up to him and said come on my show i know you will bring a fuck ton of views i will get a fuck ton of subscribers a fuck ton of money and you tell keemstar hey maybe don't put ads on there maybe that's a good idea hell no i don't work for free YouTube won't promote me. Mow my lawn. I find it funny that somebody directly points out that you're exploiting Etika for views and money, and your response is, "It's the fans, dude. It's for the fans. For the fans." No, it's your. It's for your fucking AdSense. You literally. He puts out a tweet siding with J Station. Say what you want, but I I dislike J Station, but he did donate. Donating doesn't mean shit. Donating doesn't make everything you've done wrong go away. You're detached from J Station, so you can support them and say like, "Say what you want." He donated, and that just makes you look better because. Huh, Keemstar, you ran a fundraiser, dude. You're both similar as in you're both sociopaths. You're both business, you're both money, and you're both way too old to be doing this dumb shit. When all eyes are on you, when everybody's giving you that exposure, those impressions on Twitter because Etika died, you go ahead and take that opportunity to say that, hey guys, we're launching my podcast again twice. Imagine if I was killed by a group of cult members and they decided to just start a fundraiser for me. Is that respectable? Kinda? Just don't go around acting like you didn't contribute to my fucking death, if not directly. Acknowledge what you did, and then make the fundraiser. Don't pretend like it doesn't matter. Don't pivot the narrative to something that's more forgiving. Stop blocking people for giving you valid opinions. I replied to your tweet, and you blocked me for it. You can't live in your own bubble, man. Something's gonna fucking pop it. Hey guys, Etika died. We should give out Nintendo Switches. You've never seen a fucking switch in anybody's hands other than your daughter's, okay, buddy? Giving you the benefit of the doubt, but really, I think you're just that much of a fucking idiot. It's been a while since Content Cop, bro. You're not getting any more fucking memes. You're not having to block as many people. And the best part, out of nowhere, he just brings up the fact that he voted for Obama. Don't exploit Etika. Don't exploit Etika. Fuck you guys. Fuck the news. La 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 la. I can't hear you. La 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 la. La 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 la. Imagine being 30, whatever the fuck he is, and doing that shit. La 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 la. To literal 13 year olds on fucking Twitter. You're an old man with money. Please stop. And marry your girlfriend, dude. Holy fuck. And it's worth noting he alluded to Attica's death multiple, multiple times. <laughs> Keisha, you're so funny, dude. You're so fucking funny. <laughs> Erica, crazy. He dead. <laughs> Can someone do me a favor and just find like every time Keemstar has made somebody suicidal with the show? Just put that together real quick. Give us a quick number. There's been a lot of tweets that have gotten a lot of attention about some of the tweets that Keem has made about Erica. He wouldn't respond to any of those fucking tweets. Multiple tweets. But guess what? Somebody that he knows made a tweet about it. So damn, here we go. I'm Keemstar. I'm diverting the narrative from me fucking up to some dick sucking 14 year old saying, Thank you for this. Cold Glove has been mad at me for years because I reported a story about him getting swatted. He's holy grudge. Yeah, be better than two years. You deserve to be banned. You deserve to have grudges. Has nothing to do with what Gold Glove said in his tweet. Nothing to do with that. He just has a grudge on me. He has a grudge on me. Guys, he's got a grudge on me. 
every single person you have in your Friday Fortnite, I'm sure they'd rather have anybody Anybody host that shit other than you. They do it because they think they're they're getting in on some opportunity. I'm getting in on some opportunity, dude. Some exposure. You think they want to play Fortnite? Wake up! Wake up! There's been some really scummy people that are taking a clip from the interview I did with Attica where I'm giving warnings of simulation theory and going down that rabbit hole. Thank you for absolutely fucking nothing. Hey asshole, you exploited Etika. Nobody's spinning a damn thing, idiot. Your fucking tweets are like you're spinning your dick on your fucking phone screen. Objectively, to this day, Keemstar, no bias at all, you are not a good person. Let's go get this son of a bitch. <laughs> Let's get this over with. I want everybody to listen very carefully to what I'm about to say. Number one, seek better content. Don't watch The Cockroach. Drama has been the same backdrop, the same script, the same everything for years. Without competition, Drama Alert lives on. Drama Alert lives on, Keemstar lives on. Even you could be the next fucking scares. He misses opportunity to make his content better. That's where you come in. And then people will prefer to watch you over Keemstar. Number two, Stop defending Keemstar. Have your own opinions, great. But don't be blind to his fuckery either. In my opinion, he doesn't care about anybody. He cares about his pockets. Don't be a sheep. He makes it awfully blatant that he's about AdSense and influence. Number three, terminate drama alert. Bruh. Keemstar, I know right now you're like freaking out like, dude, you can't terminate me. <laughs> I'm using all the loopholes in the book. Don't be proud of being a fucking cockroach. Don't be proud of sneaking through the fucking holes in the fence. In YouTube's terms of service, technically, Keemstar cannot run a channel. He's already had seven or more channels deleted, terminated. So it's a long shot, but seeing drama alert get terminated would be golden. Number four, this is the last one. This one's very important. Whenever you see a tweet or a post from Keemstar, hit that motherfucking reply button, find the cockroach emoji or any other disgusting ass instinct and post that shit. I'll even do it right now. I'm blocked in my main, but I'm about to go on my second Twitter account. Today is Friday Fortnite. Let me get that cricket emoji. That's the closest you can get to a cockroach. Here we go. Cricket. Fucking bug. I'm not triggered. I'm not upset. But like, if you want to go farther even, get the boom emoji for boomer. Gang gang. Slander. I'm a victim of mob mentality based on incorrect information for the sole intent to send hate to me, hate to my... <laughs> Follow those four golden rules. Pledge to them. Pledge to them in the comments. Pledge! Whenever you see a Keemstar post, insect. It's easy, dude. It's just like it's like getting up in the morning and drinking your cup of coffee. It's routine. Don't make it a chore. Make it easy. You get blocked, that's it. You've done your job. You're a proud soldier. Rip, rip to the brother. Pledge your fucking soul to those four golden rules, and Bella Delphine will DM you just like she DM'd me. I promise. The fucking Keemstar Act has been signed. Officially. Tend this on a good note. Here's a video of me dancing in African clothing that I got this morning. Johnny!